What's going on you guys? Welcome back. I'm Sammy and this is my channel. This is RX7FD and we're going on drift week. Alright, so I'll do a little bit of a walk around on the car. Got a roof rack mounted. I made some mounts for a sunroof delete panel. And then the mounts double as a roof rack mounting system. Check this out. So the roof rack's pretty darn solid. It's not going anywhere. We got a trunk full of all our shit. I also put carpet in the trunk just to kind of make it a little nicer. On the inside here, got a nice switch panel installed. Gauge cluster. Carpet, console cover. Right here we got cigarette lighters and uh, laptop charger, cell phone chargers. So last night we went ahead and put the hood on, put these arrow catches in, those are always fun. Okay. So we drilled a hole for the wastegate to fit through, we made the tunnel a little bit bigger for our uh, air filter. Ooh. So there she is, she's all set. Over here we got a bleeder valve installed for the cooling system. We had a lot of uh, air pockets in the motor. A lot of bleeding on this motor just because like where the location of the, where the radiator is mounted. And... Alright, so that's pretty much it. The car's as ready as it's going to get. We're on our way to Tucson. Uh, we're just waking up. Dude, <laughs> good morning. Up. <laughs> we'll grab some socks and we'll load up. I was just trying to get some early shots in because homeboy sleeps in all the time. But anyway. It's 7.30, we're loading up, and we're on the road to Tucson, so see you guys there. Alright, well, got the car all loaded up, just got to grab our bags, make sure we got everything, and start heading towards Tucson. The event starts in five days, so we'll see you guys out there. Peace. All right, you guys, so we made it out to Tucson. We're out here staying with Tyler's family, and we've got a pretty bare looking car. We're trying to do drift week with a bunch of flashy cars. You know, we gotta be a little bit, we gotta this look is, a little good. This so. is easily the ugliest car. You know, I, we, we went over and we saw Jason Near and we saw Clayton, and their cars are extremely badass. Jason Near just got probably a two or six thousand dollar paint job on his car that he's gonna go beat the shit out of and I mean these are beautiful cars and I'm always scared of uh, of doing paint because I can't really afford to paint a car and then trash it in one track day and have to repaint it so generally you see see me in cars that aren't painted very well um, we're gonna use a bunch of graphics that eternal image uh, hooked us up with um, they sponsored us very very grateful to them um, they're out of Friendly Nevada, very amazing people. They're into motorsports themselves. They hooked us up with some graphics. We're gonna try and cover the car up so you can't tell how ugly it is. Um, Cause I'm a little scared. Infinite Velocity Motorsports. Um, Jay Reynolds out of uh, IVM from Sparks really hooked us up um, with a lot of getting this car prepped. Um, and we got some stickers from IVM, which is a pretty difficult task. He yeah, give, he does not give them out. He does not so hand them out to just uh, anybody. <laughs> he's given a seal of approval for this car. Um, we struggled with tires today. We went out to get tires today. Um, it's Sunday. I'm used to living in a 24-7 town where you get anything you want any day of the week. We went to Costco, couldn't get tires. All the discount tires are closed. Um, we're screwed. We, today's an open drift day, and we thought we were going to go buy some tires and go out and do you know an hour of drifting today, but we're screwed. Um, so we're going to do this and we're going to go watch Jason Near um, play around with his E30 and m maybe meet some other new friends too. Hell yeah. Alright, so, like, just like he said, you know, we got to make the car look good. So we're going to go ahead and set the camera up and start laying some graphics out, see what we got. We got a couple simple shapes, you know, your, your standard drift car stuff. We've got a bunch of stars. We got a bunch of lightning bolts, you know. Everything's uh, chromy color or or uh, holographic. What's this over here? We got more lightning bolts. So we're going to go ahead and start laying everything out and see what we can come up with.
All right, we made it out to Tucson. Got the car over here in this super sweet abandoned area. We're gonna try and take some cool shots, maybe. Jeez. Suck a dick, bitch. That's what he says on the wall over there. Wow. Wow. It just keeps going. This is the property you should buy. What would you do with it? Turn it back into a f***ing hotel. It's all the kitchen equipment. There was, there was a fire. Something back here burned down. This building over here is burnt down. Tweakers burn it all once you have Could be tweakers. It could have burned up before though. This was the pool room over here. Oh, I wanted to jump down in the pool. Jeez. Doesn't look that deep on camera, but it's f***ing down there. I could probably fall down this ledge right here. Polo! This is flat. This is angled. <laughs> it doesn't look as it doesn't look as deep from up there, dude. That's like 20 feet deep. It doesn't have any markers. Twelve? I see a twelve right there. Somewhere right there says twelve. But I'm not, it's, I guess 12's the deepest? That's way deeper than 12 feet, dude. Maybe it's 12 feet to this f***ing berm. Wow, that's way deep. Am I filming? Yeah. Wow, that sun's so bright. That would be the coolest picture, but we gotta get a crane. It was a joke, but then you'd be fucking forever. <laughs> wow, can you guys see those helicopters? Five Blackhawks. Where are they? There they are.
we had to get the manifold fixed again. It cracked here, it cracked here. I fixed this in Reno. It cracked here, we had to pay the pros to fix it. And when he fixed it, it pulled the fucking flange like this. So now it's it's so fucking bad, man. There's nothing we can do about it and we have to glue it together. And I, I can't tell you if it's gonna make it. It's so bad, I gotta double up the glue. All right, so it's day one of Drift Week. We are not ready, as you can see. We're still got some work to do on the car. We got a little bit of an oil leak we're trying to fix before we start. But uh, T minus three hours, we're gonna be in. So we're going to Muscleman Honda Motor Circuit here in Tucson, Arizona. Uh, we went and saw the track for the last couple of days. The track looks fucking awesome. So I'm really excited. Today what we're working on is we got an oil leak in here and to pass tech, I need to force it to not leak. Um, there is no wrong answers here. We will do everything. We will be using gaskets, RTV, JB Weld, TIG welders. I don't give a f We will stop this leak right now. <laughs> Hell yeah. So, we're not quite ready yet. We're stressing a little hard on it right now, but we're trying real hard. I'm pretty, pretty chilling. We got an oil leak and I want a clutch over limit, um, a, a bump stop on my clutch pedal so it doesn't over traverse. And we're there. Well, the car's driving pretty good. It overheats a little bit sometimes, but <laughs> it's a little warm here out in Arizona. But we also have a small radiator. Kind of, kind of goofed ourselves there. So, so we're gonna clean off all the oil, reseal it. We think it's coming out of the VTEC solenoid. So we're gonna get going on that, and we'll check up with you in a minute. It is 3 o'clock. We need to be on the track at 5. Yeah, we need to be at the track at 5. Uh, there's a driver's meeting, and we have an oil leak from our head gasket, and we are desperately it's a trying... It's gasket, timing chain tensioner, um, timing cover junction. And um, basically, to fix it, we need to pull the head off the, the block. But we just can't do that here, you know, that's something we got to do at home in our home shop because it's going to turn into a, a whole motor refresh and inspect and head gasket and valve seals because we're leaking a little oil into the uh, onto our valves and it blows a lot of smoke. Um, so this motor is getting re refreshed the second we get home, but to pass tech we can't leak any oil. So what we're doing is basically welding shut over the top of this with... um permatex to create a blocky barrier and hold it in um we're just getting a drip out of the timing chain junction to the head junction to the block junction and um you can see it go drop drop and it's it's literally too much we there's no way we're getting away with it on track so we thought it was a timing chain tensioner did an o-ring um no dice Maybe it was an, ad an additional leak, but um, unfortunately it just started leaking too much. And it's nice that you can work on everything outside the block in the car. Every, every bolt-on you can reach, no matter where it's at. But when you want to work on the block itself, it comes all right out the front. And it's really easy to do, but we can't do it here. You know, it, it's got to be home shop to do that. It's a big task. We need a clean room. So... What we're doing is forcing it to stop leaking oil because that's our only complaint about it today. Yeah. All right, so he's gonna keep keep forcing oil, some silicone down in there. Pretty much, that's our best bet right now. We got to make it stop leaking, and we've got wheels, tires. We got a whole extra set of wheels up on top of the I'd car like, there. I'd like everyone to know that I'm not proud of doing this. But, you know, part of Drift Week is overcoming adversity and that this is hard shit to do. And sometimes y your best option is an option you don't want to take. And um, that's exactly what we're doing today is we're doing something we don't want to do. We would never normally do this at home. But when it comes to um, 
to playing with the big boys, you know, and, and being successful, we will stop at nothing and we'll fix it all later. Don't do this as a permanent fix, please, people. Yeah. I'm looking at you, guy. All right, so wish us luck. Hopefully we'll make it there on time. If not, maybe we'll drive tomorrow. We'll see what happens. Later, guys. Stick the banner on the top. I just made my mark. It's actually this line. So I'm gonna go ahead and slap her on.